16 years a head coach at the University of Oregon. Ray Rhodes, his first year. After spending 12 years as an assistant in San Francisco, a couple of years in Green Bay, the 45-year-old former defensive coordinator of the Niners. Rams have won the toss, selected to receive, and that's where Gary Anderson will put it in play, waiting back for the Rams. Todd Kinchin, number 81, Johnny Bailey, dropping back number 20. Bailey's healthy again and a dangerous player. Yeah, and so is Kinchin now. He is actually the most dangerous player back there, I believe. And the Eagles got to watch out for the trick plays. The Rams have pulled it out of their hat. They may pull it out today. Very windy. And we're underway. It goes sailing into the end zone. And through the end zone. So the Rams will put it in play from their own 20. Chris Miller is ninth season out of Oregon. And you see the numbers, 11 touchdowns, although last week intercepted four times in the loss against the 49ers. Candy, Goaz, Prostick, White, and Ashmore up front. The backfield of Bettis and the former tight end Marv Cook. Bruce having a monster season. Hester on the other side, a very solid tight end in Troy Drayton. Two tight ends set, Drayton and Pat Carter on a first and ten. Miller looking downfield and just throws it away. He had an eye on Isaac Bruce. Defensively for Philadelphia, the number one defense in the NFL. Dixon playing in place of the injured Mark Gunn. Mamula, the rookie, Harmon having a terrific year and Fuller healthy again. Thomas Govea, Romanowski, the former Niner, the linebacking group, and a secondary of the rookie Bobby Taylor, Mark McMillan, the other corner, Jackson and Zordich, the safeties. Second and ten for the Rams, just underway here at the vet. Venice off the left side, maybe picked up three. Met head on by the middle linebacker, Kurt Govea. You know, here's what the Eagles are going to have to look for. Now, don't let Isaac Bruce down the field. A lot of double teams on him. You can expect that. The trick-or-treat alert. We talked about the trick plays on the special teams, the bounce pass on the kickoff. We've seen that from the Rams twice this year. they got to run Bettis more just like they did there because there's going to be a double team on Isaac Bruce. Take advantage of that weak spot inside and slow down Gardner and uh, Waters because these guys, like we said, are number one in the NFL in the rush. they got to get to these people to get to the heart. Third and seven. Miller unloads, and it's complete across the middle to Jesse Hester, who has now caught at least one pass in 86 consecutive games. Good enough for a first down. Very smart wake, working away from Isaac Bruce. Hester's just going to come down and work inside right beyond the linebacker. But good awareness to get past the first down marker. The, the rotation of the zone going to Isaac Bruce, this will be key. They've got to be able to work not only Hester, but also the tight ends. Troy Drayton, he's got to get more involved in this game, as well as taking advantage of the run. Two tight ends set, a first and ten. Ramp from their own 36, back to the ground in Venice. And there's not much room off the left side. Mike Mamula, Mike Zordich in on the tackle. Well, the Rams, beaten last week 44-10 by the 49ers. Chris Miller intercepted four times. This is a big week for this St. Louis team. It's a huge week, and as was discussed in the pregame, you know, Miller came out and admitted to us, say, hey, I didn't have a very good game. And the rest of the Rams that we talked to yesterday said, you know, we did a lot of talking. All right? And we weren't ready for the big boys. we got to stop talking and play. Bettis picked up a yard, and it brings up second and nine. And Miller again to throw. Far side, broken up. Terrific coverage by Govea. The intended receiver, the tight end, Troy Drayton, but there's a flag down on the field. And the Rams are cheering, so it could be against Philadelphia. Once again, talked about working the tight end. Troy Drayton is just going to go to the outside sideline. Good coverage there. Now that's Billy Govea. Billy fans, number 94. So illegal use of the hands against Philadelphia. 
And it'll be an automatic first down for St. Louis. Just underway here in the opening quarter. The Rams on their first possession after taking the opening kickoff. No score. Sellout crowd on hand. Temperatures in the 60s. Eagles have reeled off three straight wins. First down give to Bettis, and he is cut down behind the line of scrimmage by Ronnie Dixon. Dixon did not play at all last season. Spent a little bit of time with Cleveland. Rams came with the draw. Dixon, number 90. Watch him knife inside. That has been the problem area with the Rams, the, the two guards. They have got to be better inside. The tackles, that's been a struggle, too, with Ashmore on one side and Wayne Yandy, the second-year player, on the other side. But the guards have also been suspect. Dixon drove a truck for his family's business in Cleveland last year. And he's driving offensive lineman crazy this year. Time. Across the middle to Isaac Bruce, his first reception of the day. They only pick up a yard, however. And it'll bring up third down for the Rams. That's about the only thing they're going to give Isaac Bruce right now. They roll that zone all the way to his side. A few plays ago, Zordich, the strong safety, was standing right beyond Bobby Taylor, the corner. They are letting everybody know that Isaac Bruce is not going to get deep if they can help him. See the numbers on Bruce. He could break the NFL single season receiving yards record. Three receivers check in on a third and eight. And here comes a blitz. Miller sack. Mark Woodard, second year backer out of Mississippi State. His first sack of the year. The linebackers come on the play trying to get some pressure. Woodard 57, there he is. He's going to come on the blitz. But I got to give this to the coverage downfield. Even though Woodard gets bumped off, he does get picked up. Miller has no place to go with the ball. You see him bring that thing back and try to reload. Sean Landetta on the punt. Kelvin Martin stands at his own 20. Fair catch signal four at the 27. And that's where Philadelphia will put it in play, a 34-yard boot, a little extracurricular activity going on on the far side of the field. That's Kitchen involved. Every time there's a scuffle on the field, look for number 81 because he will be involved. In Even if he's not involved, he's going to get involved in it. So before Philadelphia puts it in play, we'll take a timeout. Back to the vet in a moment. University crew team preparing for the head of the Schuylkill Regatta yesterday here in Philadelphia. No score. First Eagle possession right on the money with a pass. Rodney Pete to Ricky Waters. And one of the rare times this season where Waters hasn't been able to bring it home. Rodney Pete making his fourth start. Spent time with Dallas last season. Five years in Detroit. He is 3-0 running this Philadelphia Eagles ship thus far. Had a mild concussion in the victory last week against the Giants, didn't play in the second half. Waters, big yardage. And he's out across the 35 before being tripped up by Toby Wright. Rodney Pete is seventh season out of USC. Couple of touchdowns, a pair of interceptions up front. The rookie Barrett Brooks, left tackle. McIntyre, McKenzie, and Panos in the middle. Antone Davis at the right tackle spot. In the backfield, it doesn't get much better. Waters McCrary will see a great deal of Charlie Garner. Carpenter in for the injured Fred Barnett with a quad muscle pull. Williams on the other side. The former Packer, Ed West, the tight end. Third and two, and Pete to throw. He'll take it himself and dives ahead for a first down, close to the 40. Shane Conlon a step late. If you notice now, Ricky Waters is lined up as a receiver. He's lined up there the last three plays. That's a good decoy. That enabled for Pete to get around there and make that first down. Very good front four. Gilbert Farr, Jones, and the rookie Kevin Carter out of the University of Florida. Linebacking group of Roman Pfeiffer, Shane Conlon, and Carlos Jenkins. Corners Parker and Light, Lyle and Wright are the safety. First and ten. Back to the ground. This time, Charlie Carter to the outside. Carter, a chance to go. Parker's 
got to get him. And he is pushed out of bounds inside the five by Anthony Parker. 57-yard run. We talk about the run and why they're so dangerous. Here it is. Look at Roman Pfeiffer. He overruns the play, and now it's the same speed of Charlie Garner that we've seen before. We saw it in the Washington game. And here comes Parker. Saving Without the both resetting before the snap. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. So it'll come all the way back. That was a very late call. There was no flag down for quite a while on the play. And that's a huge flag now for the Rams. I mean, you know, this is what we talked about in the open, stopping these two guys, and that's the reason they're number one in the NFL in rushing the ball. Not only do you have to worry about a guy like Waters, but now all of a sudden here comes Charlie Gardner. 57-yard run erased. First and 15, and Pete drops back to throw. Good protection. And now flushed out of the pocket. And he picked up maybe a yard, stopped by DeMarco Farr. This Rams front four is going to be under a test today because they have to be able to occupy the time of the Eagle offensive linemen so the linebackers can make plays. I think the front four, as we look at Gilbert there, they are underrated. Not too many people talk about them, but when you measure them up with Gilbert and DeMarco Farr, the rookie Kevin Carter, Jimmy Jones inside, they can play with anybody. Gain of four, second and 11. He guns it in there, caught by Rob Carpenter. He's to the 45, so it'll bring up third and close to five for the Eagles. That penalty is key now because the run is going to work on the nerves of the patience of the Los Angeles, or the St. Louis Rams in stopping that game. Now, see, when they get that run going, they can come back and go to their passing game. Everybody's up. They're worried about the run. Third and three. Here comes the blitz. Delivered by Toby Wright. The intended receiver was Calvin Williams, and he took a shot. So Philadelphia, the penalty nullifying, a 57-yard run by Garner has to kick it away. Williams is going to come down inside and make a quick in route. But look at Wright. There you go. That, that's what you're talking about, the aggression, being able to pound on people. That's what your safeties are supposed to do for you. they got to come down and be able to make the hit and intimidate inside. Tommy Hutton punts it away to Kenshin from his own 15. That immediately at the 13 by Mark Woodard. 39-yard punt covered wonderfully by the Eagles special teams. We'll be back. Tom Brenneman, Ron Fitz, our entire Fox crew back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Rams and the Eagles scoreless, 7.25 to play in the opening quarter. Rams the first and 10, starting this drive at their own 14. Miller a short drop, far side, finds his man Hester, and he is across the 20 to the 21. Mark McMillan on the coverage and the tackle. Well, you won't see it on pay-per-view, not on cable, it's only on Fox. This Saturday, Mike Tyson continues his quest to regain the heavyweight championship. He'll take on Buster Mathis Jr. live Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on Fox. Gain of seven, it brings up second and three. Great in motion. Bennett. The 25 to the 30, good enough for a first half. And while we have a moment, let's send it back to Hollywood for a McDonald's game break and James Brown. Tom Falcons trying to let Dion know it's their house, not his house. Jeff George, who's 4-4 on his drive, hooks up with big play receiver Eric Metcalf, 42-yard touchdown strike, and it's the Falcons on top of Dallas, 7-0 in the first. Back to Tom and Ron.
Yeah, it's a good thing Dion wasn't covering on the play. He 